Hey everybody and welcome. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to use primitives to create a beauty dish. A beauty dish is another light modifier that photographers use, which creates really beautiful looking shots. Generally, they use it as a single light source, but sometimes they mix it with others. I think you're really gonna like this one. Before I get started, thank you all so much for subscribing and hitting the notification icon. It really helps me out to know how many people want to see my content. Also, a huge thank you to all of my patrons. Your support means so much to me, I'm not sure I can really express it in words. So let's get right into this then. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check that our render settings are set. So we're going to go into our render settings tab and we're going to change from dome and scene to scene only. This just means that we'll be able to see our light source correctly and we're gonna turn off draw ground. And that's all we need to do there. Now, just like in our previous video, we're going to use primitives. So we're going to click on this icon at the top that looks like three shapes squished together. And we're gonna create a sphere and it's going to be 0.7 meters in diameter. Now that we're going to position our camera so that we can see the geometry nice and easy, we're gonna make sure that we've got our sphere selected and we're gonna go into the geometry editor tool. Now we want to right click and make sure that we are in polygon selection mode and that our selection mode is also marquee selection. Now we're going to align ourselves like this and we're going to select the top and one more row of faces. So we've got this number of faces selected. Use the camera rotation to make sure you've got them all. Now we're going to right click and where it says geometry editing, we're going to delete selected polygons. And we're going to hit yes. Now we've got a bowl shape that we can play with. So the next thing we need to do is go into our surfaces tab. And we're going to select the sphere. We're going to open it all up. And where it says emission, we're going to turn on emission like so. And then we're going to switch to KCD MR2 like that. So there we go. So it's nice and bright. Now, if we were to look at this object in NVIDIA IRO mode, you can see that the entire thing is lit up, which is not really what we want. So we're going to go back into texture shaded mode. And we're going to turn off two sided lighting. And then when we come back in, we can see that the outside is a light source and the inside is not, which again is not really what we're after. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all those faces again and we're going to right click and in geometry editing, we're going to flip normal of selected polygons. Now the outside is not a light source and the inside is. So we're going to jump out of uh, IRA mode into a texture shaded mode because that's the first part of our beauty dish completed. So we're going to rename this sphere and we're going to call it light dish like so. The next thing we want to do is create another primitive, another sphere, and this time it's going to be 0.1 of a meter in diameter. And we're going to quickly draw that up. We're going to use our parameters tab, and we're just going to bring it up into the air so that we can work on it. Now we're going to use our marquee selection tool to select all of the polygons on the bottom half of the sphere. We're going to quickly check that we've got them all selected and then we're going to right click and just like before we're going to delete the selected polygons like so now what we need to do is change the scale we need to reduce the y scale so that it's a little bit flatter and then we're going to increase the overall scale just a touch and then we're going to zoom out um, using our y translate again we're going to set this so that it is about halfway up in our dish. Next thing we want to do is parent that to our light dish. And there we go. That's our light dish built. Now we need to get it into the right position. So we're going to reset our view. We're going to select the light dish itself. And then we're going to insert minus 90 in the X rotate. Then we're going to click on the top of the view cube. And we're going to use our move tool and we're going to drag it back along the x-axis so that it's zero point is 
at the front rather than at the back. Now what we need to do is we need to create a camera and we're just going to leave that as apply default settings and we're going to set all of these values to zero like so. Now we're going to parent our light dish to our camera and we're going to rename the camera beauty dish like so. Now in our content library we can save this as a scene subset as however we want. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again but you can save it as a scene subset which will allow you to reload that camera into any scene as and when you wish. Now I'm going to quickly create a scene and demonstrate how this actually looks when it's put into use. So here we have our scene set up. I've got a character loaded and posed. I've got another camera over here pointed at the camera at the character. And then I've used the beauty dish camera to align the light source, making sure that I'm pointed more or less at her head. And then when we come back to our original camera and we turn on IRA preview mode, you can see that it creates this really beautifying semi-hard light source that creates these nice black shadows, but there's still a little bit of a gradient to them, which just has a really nice effect overall. I hope you found this useful. I look forward to seeing your comments below. Smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye bye.